The Kai T-50 Golden Eagle, is a family of South Korean supersonic advanced trainers and light combat aircraft, developed by Korea Aerospace Industries, Kai, with Lockheed Martin. The T-50 is South Korea's first indigenous supersonic aircraft and one of the world's few supersonic trainers. Development began in the late 1990s, and its maiden flight occurred in 2002. The aircraft entered active service with the Republic of Korea Air Force, ROCAF, in 2005. The T-50 has been further developed into aerobatic and combat variants, namely T-50B, TA-50, and FA-50. The F-50 single-seat multi-role fighter variant was considered. The T-50B serves with the South Korean Air Force's aerobatics team. The TA-50 light attack variant has been ordered by Indonesia. The Philippines ordered 12 units of the FA-50 variant. The T-50A is being marketed as a candidate for the United States Air Force's Next Generation TX Trainer Program. Thailand ordered 12 units of the T-50 Advanced Trainer variant. Development Origins The T-50 program was originally intended to develop an indigenous trainer aircraft capable of supersonic flight, to train and prepare pilots for the KF-16 and F-15K, replacing trainers such as T-38 and A-37 that were then in service with the ROCAF. Prior South Korean aircraft programs include the turboprop KT-1 basic trainer produced by Daewoo Aerospace, now part of KAI and license-manufactured KF-16. In general, the T-50 series of aircraft closely resembles the KF-16 in configuration. The mother program, codenamed KTX-2, began in 1992, but the Ministry of Finance and Economy suspended KTX-2 in 1995 due to financial constraints. The basic design of the aircraft was set by 1999. The development of the aircraft was funded 70% by the South Korean government, 17% by Kai, and 13% by Lockheed Martin. The aircraft was formally designated as the T-50 Golden Eagle in February 2000. The T-50A designation was reserved by the U.S. military to prevent it from being inadvertently assigned to another aircraft model. Final assembly of the first T-50 took place between January 15 and September 14, 2001. The first flight of the T-50 took place in August 2002, an initial operational assessment from July 28 to August 14, 2003. Kai and Lockheed Martin are currently pursuing a joint marketing program for the T-50 internationally. The ROCAF placed a production contract for 25 T-50S in December 2003, with aircraft scheduled to be delivered between 2005 and 2009. Original T-50 aircraft are equipped with the IN-APG-67-V-4 radar from Lockheed Martin. The T-50 is equipped with a GEF-404 engine with full authority digital engine control, FADEC, built under license by Samsung Tequin. Under the terms of the T-50-F404-102CO production agreement, GE provides engine kits directly to Samsung Tequin who produces designated parts as well as performing final engine assembly and testing. Improved versions The program has expanded beyond a trainer concept to include the TA-50 light attack aircraft and the FA-50 light combat aircraft, similar to the multi-role KF-16. The TA-50 variant is a more heavily armed version of the T-50 trainer, intended for lead-in fighter training and light attack roles. It is equipped with the Elta L-M2032 fire control radar. The TA-50 is designed to operate as a full-fledged combat platform for precision-guided weapons, air-to-air -air missiles, and air-to-ground missiles. The TA-50 can mount additional utility pods for reconnaissance, targeting assistance, and electronic warfare. Reconnaissance and electronic warfare variants are also being developed, designated as RA-50 and EA-50. The FA-50 is the most advanced version of the T-50, possessing more internal fuel capacity, enhanced avionics, a longer radome and a tactical data link. It is equipped with a modified Israeli L-M2032 pulse Doppler radar with Korean-specific modifications by LIGNEX-1. The engine could be either Eurojet EJ200 or General Electric F414, upgraded to 20,000 pounds or 22,000 pounds thrust, 
roughly 12-25% higher than the F404S thrust, and are offered to prospective customers for the T50. The radar of the FA50 has a range two-thirds greater than the TA50S radar. The L-M2032 was initially chosen over Lockheed Martin's preferred and slash APG-67, V, 4 and Celex Vixen 500E Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA, radars. Other AESA radars such as Raytheon Advanced Combat Radar and Northrop Grumman Scalable Agile Beam Radar are options for future production, and may be shared with the radar chosen for U.S. Air Force and ROCAF F-16 fighters. Samsung Thales is also independently developing a domestic multi-mode AESA radar for the FA-50. In December 2008, South Korea awarded a contract to Kai to convert 4T-50S to FA-50 standard by 2012. In 2012, the ROCAF ordered 20 FA-50 fighters to be delivered by the end of 2014. The maiden flight of the FA-50 took place in 2011. 60 FA-50 aircraft are to be produced for the ROCAF from 2013 to 2016. Kai received a 1.1 trillion one, one billion dollars, order for FA-50 fighter aircraft in May 2013. In December 2015, Kai announced and revealed the new Kai LMT 50TX upgrade intended to compete in the US TX program that will start testing in 2016. This variant features a dorsal hump for extra internal fuel and an aerial refueling receptacle, large area display, LAD, and embedded ground training systems. In ADEX 2017, Kai unveiled the T-50A as a new variant based on the FA-50 multi-role combat aircraft. It has an aerial refueling receptacle, cockpit multi-function display, dorsal hump for extra internal fuel and an embedded training suite with the same F-404 GE-102 engine, speed, load factor, weight, electronic warfare suite, advanced data link, air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground weapons, and multi-mode radar. Design Overview The T-50 Golden Eagle design is largely derived from the F-16 Fighting Falcon, and they have many similarities, use of a single engine, speed, size, cost, and the range of weapons. Kai's previous engineering experience in license producing the KF-16 was a starting point for the development of the T-50. The trainer has seating for two pilots in a tandem arrangement. The high-mounted canopy developed by Hankook Fiber is applied with stretched acrylic, providing the pilots with good visibility, and has been tested to offer the canopy with ballistic protection against 4LB objects impacting at 400 knots. The altitude limit is 14,600 meters, 48,000 feet, and airframe is designed to last 8,000 hours of service. There are seven internal fuel tanks with capacity of 2,655 liters, 701 US gal, 5 in the fuselage and 2 in the wings. An additional 1,710 liters, 452 US gal, of fuel can be carried in the three external fuel tanks. T-50 trainer variants have a paint scheme of white and red, and aerobatic variants white, black, and yellow. The T-50 uses a single General Electric F404-102 turbofan engine license produced by Samsung Tequin, upgraded with a FADEX system jointly developed by General Electric and Kai. The engine consists of three staged fans, seven axial stage arrangement, and an afterburner. The aircraft has a maximum speed of Mach 1.5. Its engine produces a maximum of 78.7 knots, 17,700 lbf, of thrust with afterburner. The more powerful F414 and EJ200 engines have been suggested as the new engine for the T-50 family. Avionics The T-50S central processing unit and its operating system are developed by MDS Technology. The T-50S and EOS avionics operating system is the first and only real-time operating system to be developed by an Asian company, and holds both DU-178B and IEEE P6 certification. Samsung Thales and LIG NEX1 are the main avionics and electronic warfare equipment developers for T-50 and its variants. 
Other South Korean companies and defense institutes such as DUDAAM Systems, Aeromaster, Intel LICS, and Korea Institute of Defense Analysis are responsible for the aircraft's secondary avionics and embedded systems, including store management computers, avionics testing equipment, flight data recorders, portable maintenance aids, data analysis software, post-flight data processing system, aircraft structure and engine management software, and mission planning and support systems. The TA-50 version is equipped with an ELTAL-M2032 fire control radar. The T-50 is equipped with a Honeywell H764G embedded global positioning slash inertial navigation system and HG9550 radar altimeter. The aircraft is the first trainer to feature triple redundant digital fly-by-wire controls. The cockpit panels, switches, and joysticks are produced by South Korea's First Tech and Sungjin Techwin, head-up display by Dodam Systems, and multifunction display by Samsung Thales. Other South Korean subcontractors such as Elimec, Daewin Friction, and with us cooperate in T-50 components production. Hanwha supplies the mechanical parts for the flight control system, and WIA supplies the undercarriage. Armament and Equipment The TA-50 version has a three-barrel cannon version of the M61 Vulcan mounted internally behind the cockpit, which fires linkless 20mm ammunition. Wingtip rails can accommodate the AIM-9 Sidewinder missile, and a variety of additional weapons can be mounted to underwing hardpoints. Compatible air-to-surface weapons include the AGM-65 Maverick missile, Hydra-70 and Lager rocket launchers, CBU-58 and MK-20 cluster bombs, and MK-82, 83, and 84 general-purpose bombs. The FA-50 can be externally fitted with RAF AL Sky Shield or LIG Nex-1 SALQ 200K ECM pods, sniper or lightning targeting pods, and Condor 2 reconnaissance pods to further improve the fighter's electronic warfare, reconnaissance and targeting capabilities. Other improved weapon systems include SPICE multifunctional guidance kits, Textron CBU-97-105 sensor-fused weapon with WCM detail kits, JDAM, JDAMER for more comprehensive air-to-ground operations, and AIM-120 missiles for BVR air-to-air operations. FA-50 has provisions for, but does not yet integrate, Python and Derby missiles, also produced by Rafael, and other anti-ship missiles, standoff weapons and sensors to be domestically developed by Korea. The South Korean military is reviewing whether to arm the FA-50 with a smaller version of the KEPD-350 missile to give it a standoff engagement capability of 400 km, 250 miles. On February 2018, European maker MBDA, in Singapore Air Show showcased an offer of its Meteor and SRAM medium and short-range air-to-air missiles available for integration for the Kai platform's FA-50 and future KFX fighter jets. Operational History Republic of Korea In 2011, the first squadron with the TA-50, the T-50S light attack variant, become operational with the ROCAF. The ROCAF's Black Eagles aerobatic team operates the T-50B version. In 2014, the FA-50 was officially deployed by the ROCAF with President Park joon hye officially leading a ceremony during which a flight demonstration was held showing its capabilities. 20 FA-50S was assigned its own Air Force wing. 60 FA-50S were ordered by ROCAF. On October 9, 2014, an FA-50 successfully test-fired an AGM-65 Maverick at a stationary target, a retired ship. Indonesia Indonesia had been considering the T-50, along with four other aircraft to replace its B-Systems Hawk Mk-53 trainer and OV-10 Bronco attack aircraft. In August 2010, Indonesia announced that T-50, Yak-130 and L-159 were the remaining candidates for its requirement for 16 advanced jet trainers. In May 2011, Indonesia signed a contract to order 16 T-50 aircraft for 400 million US dollars. The aircraft is to feature weapons pylons and gun modules, enabling light attack capabilities. The Golden Eagles are to replace the Hawk Mk-53 in Indonesian Air Force Service. Indonesia's version has been designated T-50I. 
deliveries began in September 2013. The last pair of T-50I aircraft were delivered in January 2014. Iraq Iraq was negotiating the acquisition of T-50 trainer jets, having first publicly expressed official interest during the Korea-Iraq summit in Seoul on February 24, 2009. In April 2010, Iraq reopened the jet lead-in fighter trainer competition for 24 aircraft, in which TA-50 competed. In December 2013, it was announced that Iraq signed a contract for 24 aircraft of the FA-50 variant designated T-50IQ, plus additional equipment and pilot training over the next 20 years. Deliveries were to begin in April 2016, with all aircraft to be delivered over the next 12 months. Philippines The Philippine Air Force chose 12 Kai Ta-50 aircraft to fulfill its requirement for a light attack and lead-in fighter trainer aircraft. The Department of National Defense, DND, announced the selection of the type in August 2012. Funding for 12 aircraft was approved by Congress on September 2012, but by late January 2013, state media reported that the FA-50, not the TA-50 as previously reported, was selected for the procurement. In October 2013, President Aquino said the DND was close to finalizing the FA-50 deal, and on October 19, 2013, President Aquino and President Park Jaun hye of South Korea signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MAO, with provisions for acquisitions. On February 13, 2014, President Aquino approved the payment scheme for purchasing 12 lead-in fighter trainers with P18.9 billion. $415.7 million, budgeted. On March 28, 2014, the Philippines Department of National Defense signed a contract for 12 FA-50 light attack aircraft worth P18.9 billion, $421.12 million US dollars. Deliveries began in November 2015 and are expected to be completed in May 2017. The first four FA-50 PH aircraft delivered were displayed on December 1, 2016. All deliveries were completed by May 31, 2017. Plans call for three or four of the 12 aircraft to be fitted with capability for beyond visual range BVR, intercept. In March 2015, Stockholm International Peace Research Institute CIPRI, reported that the Philippines plans to order additional FA-50S, which is supported by the PAF Flight Plan 2028 that lists another 12 FA-50S planned for the future. On January 26, 2017, two Philippine Air Force FA-50 PHS conducted a nighttime attack on terrorist hideouts in Butaik, Lanao del Sur Province in Mindanao, the first combat sorties flown by these aircraft. In June 2017, FA-50S were deployed to conduct airstrikes against MA terrorists entrenched in the city of Marawi starting in May 2017. On July 12, 2017, an FA-50 was involved in a friendly fire incident in Marawi when a bomb landed approximately 250 meters off target, killing two Philippine soldiers and injuring 11 more. Investigation resulted in clearing the aircrew and aircraft of fault and the type was allowed to return to active service in August. Thailand In September 2015, the Thai government chose the Kai T-50 variant for its air force over the Chinese Hungdu L-15 to replace its aging L-39 Albatros trainers. The four T-50th aircraft are scheduled to be delivered by March 2018. In July 2017, Thailand's government approved the procurement of eight more aircraft with a contract signing expected later in the month. Deliveries began in January 2018. Possible Sales The Spanish Air Force is interested in a cooperation agreement with South Korea for use of training aircraft, including the T-50. The United Arab Emirates, UAE, is seeking 3540 fighter trainers. In February 2009, the UAE selected the M346 over the T-50. In January 2010, the UAE reopened the trainer contest. In 2011, it was confirmed that the T-50 was still competing for the UAE purchase. 
In the U.S., the T-50 is one of the contenders for the U.S. Air Force's TX program, with an opportunity to export 300 to 1,000 aircraft. Azerbaijan has expressed interest in purchasing T-50 trainers. Brunei has expressed interest in the FA-50. South Korea also plans to offer the FA-50 to Colombia and Peru. The Pakistan Air Force is considering purchase of the South Korean Kai T-50 lead-in fighter trainer, LIFT, to revamp its Air Force training program. Vietnam looks to purchase FA-50 light fighters from US and South Korea. Taiwan is looking to replace its current fleet of at 3 jet trainers and F-5 lift planes with 66 advanced trainers, the Republic of China Air Force released a request for information, RFI, and two companies have responded including Lockheed Martin for the T-50 and Alenia Air Mackey's M346 responded to the request. The planes are expected to be licensed produced in Taiwan with a local partner firm and the overall estimated contract value is 69 billion new Taiwan dollars, 2.2 billion US dollars. However, Taiwan decided to build 66 XT-5 Blue Magpie supersonic trainers based on Taiwan's old indigenous fighter for NT$68.6 billion instead of selecting the T-50 or M346. The FA-50 is also being offered to Croatia which is deciding on a replacement for its aging fleet of MiG-21 BIS aircraft. However, in October 2017, Kai did not bid as the FA-50 could not satisfy Croatian fighter requirements. The Argentine Air Force is evaluating the FA-50 as a potential new platform. The Argentine government is seeking to buy the FA-50 through repatriation in Korea. MSN reported the Argentine defense minister said that when the financial aid is secured a contract for the FA-50 with CHI can be signed by December 2017. The Royal Malaysian Air Force is looking for a light combat aircraft that also can serve as a lead-in fighter trainer lift, platform and should be ready for fielding in about 2021-22. The official noted that others are being considered but a preference for the T-50-50 FA aircraft in service with near neighbors the Philippines and the Republic of Korea. Local media reported that the FA-50 could be a more affordable option than the Saab Gripen for the Botswana Defense Force Air Wing, citing Korean aerospace industries, signaling potential interest by the country. Failed Bids Poland stated tender for new AJTs, in which T-50 was participating. M-346 was chosen. Singapore evaluated the T-50 against the Italian Alenia Air Mackey M346 and the B-Systems Hawk for a $500 million trainer acquisition program contract for 1216 aircraft. The Singapore Ministry of Defence eventually selected the M346 aircraft ahead of T-50 and B-Hawk in July 2010. Israel had been evaluating the T-50 as a possible replacement for its McDonnell Douglas A4N Skyhawk II trainers since 2003. On February 16, 2012, Israel announced its decision to procure 30 M346s instead. In October 2015, the US denied the sale to Uzbekistan of 12 Kai T50s with US engines and certain avionic systems. Variants T50, Advanced Trainer Version T50i, Version of the T50 for Indonesian Air Force t 50 version of the T-50 for Royal Thai Air Force. T-50A, candidate for the U.S. Air Force TX program, based on the FA-50. In ADEX 2017 the T-50A was unveiled to the public as a new variant with fifth-generation cockpit, an aerial refueling receptacle, cockpit multifunction display, dorsal hump for extra internal fuel and an embedded training suite. T-50B, Aerobatic Specialized T-50 version for Korea Air Force's Aerobatic Display Team, the Black Eagles. TA-50, Lead-in Fighter Trainer and Light Attack Version. FA-50, Light Attack Version, originally named A-50. A prototype from a converted T-50 first flew in 2011. FA-50PH, version of the FA-50 for the Philippine Air Force. T-50IQ version of the FA-50 for Iraqi Air Force. F-50, a single-seat multi-role fighter variant that was considered but was cancelled in favor of the KFX. Operators Indonesia
Indonesian Air Force 16T-50I aircraft ordered, all were delivered by January 2014. Iraq Iraqi Air Force 24T-50IQ aircraft ordered, with first delivery in March 2017. South Korea Republic of Korea Air Force 50T-50, 10T-50B, 22TA-50, and 60FA-50 aircraft in service as of October 2016. Philippines Philippine Air Force 12FA-50PH aircraft ordered. All 12 aircraft were delivered by May 31, 2017. Intent to buy another 12 aircraft was reported in 2017. Thailand Royal Thai Air Force 12 T 50th aircraft ordered total, 4 T 50th advanced trainers on order to be delivered by March 2018. 8 more T 50 THS ordered in July 2017. Accidents and Incidents On November 15, 2012, a T 50B of the South Korean Air Force Black Eagles aerobatic team crashed shortly after takeoff, killing the sole pilot on board. The cause of the crash was due to faulty maintenance. On August 28, 2013, a T-50 of the South Korean Air Force crashed during a training mission near Gwangju City, killing both pilots on board. Investigation results revealed that the pilot deaths resulted from failing to eject at a sufficient altitude, while the crash itself was caused by faulty maintenance. On December 20, 2015, an Indonesian Air Force T-50I Golden Eagle crashed while performing a flight demonstration during an airshow at Atasut Gipto Air Base in Yogyakarta, killing its two pilots caused by poor maintenance and pilot error. On February 6, 2018, AT-50B of the South Korean Air Force Black Eagle's aerobatic team flipped over after one of its tires burst on takeoff. It was taking off in preparation for a display at the Singapore Airshow. Specifications General Characteristics Crew, 2 Length, 13.14 m, 43.1 feet Wingspan, 9.45 m, 31 feet, with wingtip missiles Height, 4.94 m, 16.2 feet Wing area, 23.69 square meters, 255 feet superscript 2 Empty weight, 6,470 kilograms, 14,285 pounds. Max takeoff weight, 12,300 kilograms, 27,300 pounds. Power plant, 1 times General Electric F404, built under license by Samsung Techwin, after burning turbofan. Dry thrust, 53.07 knots. 11,925 lbf Thrust with afterburner, 78.7 knots, 17,700 lbf Performance Maximum speed, Mach 1 1.5, 1,640 km per hour, 1,020 miles per hour at 9,144 m or 30,000 feet Range, 1,851 km 1,150 miles. Service ceiling, 14,630 m, 48,000 feet. Rate of climb, 198 m s, 39,000 feet min. Thrust slash weight, 0.96. Max G limit, minus 3 G slash plus 8 grams. Armament. Guns, 1 times 20 millimeters. 0.787 in, General Dynamics A53 Barrel Rotary Cannon Hardpoints, total of 7 with 4 under wing 2 wingtip and 1 under fuselage, holding up to 3,740 kg, 8,250 pounds, of payload Rockets Hydra 70 Lager Missiles Air-to-air -air. AIM-9 Sidewinder AIM-120 AMROM, planned for FA-50. Air-to-ground. AGM-65 Maverick. KEPD-350 K-2, planned for FA-50. Bombs. MK-82. MK-83. 
CBU-97-105 sensor-fused weapon. Spice-equipped bombs. Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDAM, bombs. Wind Corrected Munitions Dispenser, WCMD. Avionics. An slash APG-67, T-50. L slash M-2032, TA-50 and FA-50. Lockheed Martin Advanced Avionics. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.